Potion prices slip. Maybe headed for the dungeons. Nice subtle way of telling us what we're going to be doing. Hey guys, it's Skulker3 and welcome to part 6 of Let's Play Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. In the last part, we spent like more than 10 minutes doing something which in the book was last lasted about a paragraph and in the film didn't even get a scene. Hooray for licensing with games! Because, you know, nearly headless Nick really needed that tie and everything, didn't he? Uh, so, you guys all voted for us to go to the dungeons. Which is so, obviously, people don't want to see me exploring. Because, you know, it's kind of boring. Uh, so, before we head down there, I'm going to go and show off... Is it on the fourth floor? Yes, it is! Good, good. Um, I'm going to show off the hospital wing, I believe. It's What do you say it is? Infirmary. Uh, whatever. Uh, yes. Hello! Hello, Harry. I can see that you are hurt. Would you like me to heal you? Yes, please. And then, yeah, you can get healed here, so... If you need to heal yourself, talk to Madame Pomfrey and she'll fix you right up with her weird green potion. Which I personally wouldn't trust, but you know, apparently it's great. Um, so... Uh, I'll, I'll actually take the opportunity to show you a shortcut. Uh, we went down to the fourth floor, but you want to stay on the fifth. If you're fully healed and everything. Because for some reason, going to sleep doesn't fully heal you. You know, going to sleep on the Gryffindor common room doesn't heal you, which I find a bit weird. Anyways, uh, if you take these stairs, well, no, this slide, you go straight to the dungeons. So remember this. Remember this face, because that'll take you right up to the fifth floor, which is always helpful. Because then you can go from, like, the den the dungeons, which is essentially, like, near the entrance of the castle, and the Gryffindor common room. So remember that. It'll be helpful. Uh, here is the potions classroom, and we'll get ready to learn some horrible things. Here's Ron, let's see what he has to say. Hi, Ron. My brother says Snape is as mean as he looks. Yes, he is, Ron. Yes, he is. Hello. Hermione, talk to me. My cauldron is shinier than any of the others. You should polish yours, too. I'm gonna look in these drawers. Whoa, we found a famous Witches and Wizards card. I hope Snape wasn't keeping that one saved. Hello. Well, Harry Potter, our new celebrity. Please find a seat. Okay. Potter, where would you look if I asked you to find a Bezoar stone? I know, I know! I don't know, sir. Perhaps you should ask Hermione. I think she does. That's one house point from Gryffindor, Potter. And so, yeah, that's what it looks like when you gain or lose house points. It, obviously, the music changes depending on which it is. Oh, Neville. You and your inabilities to do anything competent. Ow! Your friend, Mr. Longbottom, seems to have hurt himself. I'll let you gather the potion ingredients to heal him, Potter. But... You need to find two portions of beetle's eyes, one portion of snake fangs, and one portion of boomslang skin. Search for them in or around Hogwarts. You might want to ha you might want to talk to Hagrid, the gamekeeper, about where to look. And be quick, I will deduct house points for slowness. Hurry, Harry! Don't you worry, Neville! We'll help you, man! Just stay in there! Damn this war! Oh, wait. This isn't war at all. So, yeah, we need to go and find some potions ingredients, which introduces a... Sort of random. It's not really mini game. It's just stuff you can do around the place. So the first place you want to go to go is right here. Part of this snake looks funny. You receive boomslang skin. This is a real snake skin. Wait a minute. A boomslang is a snake. Well done, Harry. Uh, let's go into this fight and see what we can do. So, what are you? You are two snakes. Uh, I believe Vertimilius is good against these guys. Uh. Well, it looks relatively good, so you might as well use it. Um, actually, let's test Vermilius on this guy as well, see how well that does in comparison. Zero. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you can't really say anything from that. Uh, let's try again, then. Yeah, sorry. Uh, I will show off some of the... I will, like, when there's a new enemy, I'll keep showing the fight or whatever, but, um, you know, when there isn't, I'll just cut it out, just for simplicity's sake. Uh, so, yeah, Vermilius is stronger... But, um, so yeah, maybe do a Vermilius and a Vermilius, and that was a critical hit, so that doesn't really help. Uh, and you get some snake fangs if you fight a thing, and we gained a new spell level in Vermilius. Excellent! I'll show that off in the next fight. Um, just gonna look down here randomly. Why? I don't know. Um, yeah, I probably shouldn't have done that. Uh, here's a new fight. Let's show off our Vermilius duo then, shall we? So, as you can see, Vermilius duo costs eight points to use. However, let's just use it on this snake. Kaboom! 31! Always nice, always nice. So yeah, the more you use a spell, the higher, the faster it is that you um, level it up. 
I've been using Vermilius a lot in these things because I wanted to get it. You know, I wanted to get it leveled up as quickly as possible so I could show that off. Um, so yeah, you should probably try to balance your spell use so that you don't wind up with Vermilius Tria, um, but then have only Uno for the other spells. You want to have nice, balanced, really good spells for everything. Um, so we've shown that off now, so that's pretty great. Um, moving onwards, we are going to go and talk to Hagrid, the good old gameskeeper and guy who has an accent, so I'm going to have to do that again. You may one be wondering why I'm going here. Uh, actually, I'll cut this. I'll meet you in the entrance hall. I'm just going to quickly go heal. Oh, right. Uh, we're back at the entrance hall. Here's Percy. Harry, what are you doing out of class? I'm a prefect, so I have to ask. Neville got hurt in an accident, so Snape sent me to look for potion ingredients to treat him. Talk to Hagrid. He usually knows what's lying about loose. Yes, I know. Thank you, Percy. You are absolutely superfluous. So, we're going to go talk to Hagrid now. These are the school grounds. You're going to like this. Oh, dear. Um, are these... Ah, we have little gnome fellows. Hello. How are you, little chaps, today? You look very weird. Seriously, look at how weird they look. And they do a fair amount of damage. We should probably get some new equips soon. Um... This fight looks a bit too much, so we're gonna run away like a little pansy! Nah! I think... the No, I thought there was something if you looked there. Maybe that's later. Receive antidote! Okay, maybe I was confusing it with that. Or something, I don't know. Um, But yes, we're gonna go meet Hagrid, who is down this path, I believe. Yep, here's the entrance to Hagrid's hut. Hi, Hagrid! What brings you out here during class time, Harry? Professor Snape sent me to look for potion ingredients. Beetle's eyes, boom slang skin, and snake fangs. Sometimes you can find such loot such like loose around the school grounds. As for boom slang skin, wouldn't surprise me if Snape had some in his office. He's so fond of serpents and the like. What about snake fangs? Do you know anything about them? Well, Professor Spout out by the greenhouses was having trouble driving off some snakes. Some of their fangs might be left behind. Thanks, Hagrid. You're welcome. I'd help you look, but I've been busy spraying beetles out back and I need a nap right now. Beetles, you say? Uh, so yes. Wait a minute. Hagrid said he was spraying beetles back here. Well done, Harry. You finally got. Okay, we found some card. Some card. We found a card. Um, uh, there's some beetles eyes right there. These are beetles eyes, all right. Yes, Harry. Your up uh, there. Your powers of observation never cease to astound me. These are beetles eyes, all right. So we've now got everything for the potion. Um, I think. There's probably no more beetle's eyes. Uh, however, um, looking around the school... Uh, okay! Here's lots of new enemies. And I'm scared of all of them. And maybe I shouldn't be. Uh, let's kill you with a Vermilius duo, just because I want to even out the grounds a bit more. I mean, come on. Three against one, that's not fair. And I'm almost dead. Seriously. Um... Yeah, <laughs> this is not a fun battle particularly. Maybe we can kill this guy before he kills us. Oof, I'm not so sure myself. Come on, Harry. Okay, that was not nice. Oh, we're poisoned and we're dead! Hooray! So yeah, that's what it looks like when you die. Um, Basically, I believe you... Maybe not, actually. I don't actually know what bad effects come from dying. I don't think you lose any items. I don't think you lose any experience. You don't lose half your money. So I think it's just a minor inconvenience. You don't lose your data. Because we still have all the uh, potions ingredients and everything. So I don't know, man. <laughs> it's just apparently, oh, you didn't win. You failed your man. Yes. Um, actually... While we're here, I'm going to look at the equipment I can buy and see if there's anything good to get from good old Mr. Fred and George. You! Sell me some things! Uh, don't have enough money for most of these, so that's fun. Um, let's get... We could get a stamina belt and that's it. Uh, okay, let's get some hardened boots. And... Some superior gloves. And a superior pointed hat. And do we have enough for the belt? Yes, we do! Right, so now we have a fair amount more equipment, which is good. I am indeed in that very place. Sorry about all showing all this off, guys, but you know, it's it's all seeing what's good to buy from Fred and George. 
So, we can also sell the equipment that we are not using back to them. Uh, so, that's fun, but I'm not going to do that right now. I'll probably do that off screen sometime. Uh, and I will meet you now back in the dungeons in a second. Bye, guys. Actually, come to think of it, we're going to go there through this. So, I don't need to bother cutting, because it's like that. Hooray for me. Uh, so now, hopefully, we're not going to die as often, because we have some better equipment. Um... Yeah, I really don't know what negative effects there are, really, from dying, other than the fact that you go somewhere you don't necessarily want to go. Oh, well. Um, let's head up and talk to Snape so he can teach us how to prepare potions. Snape, my boy! There, I'm finished. Let's see Snape take points away from me now, <laughs> Professor Snape. You give up beetle's eyes, beetle's eyes, boom size skin, and snake fangs. Six house points for finding the ingredients, but I'll deduct one since you took so long. Now, hurry to your next class, unless you want to lose more house points. You dick! But, yeah, so now we're winning, I think. Um, yeah, I think we're one ahead of Slytherin. I can't really tell if that was a six or an eight. So, we received class list, which tells us where we're meant to be going next. And he doesn't teach us how to make potions yet, which is a bit annoying. Uh, however, making potions is a very big part of this game. So, now that we have done that, we have a class list. We can go to these in any order, I think. Um... Maybe not, but... Hmm. Well... Okay, assuming we can go to them in any order, I'm gonna leave this to a vote. What do you guys want to see next? Do you want to see Transfiguration, Herbology, Defense Against the Dark Arts, Broom Flight, Charms, or History of Magic? Here's a hint. History of Magic isn't gonna be too great. Um... So... Actually, I suppose we could try and get one lesson in. Uh, let's go to Charms class. Um, I mean, you know, seeing it, because I've basically, I've, ah, basically, I got this set to record for six more minutes, so we should probably be able to do something in that time. Um, can't remember which floor Charms is on, I think it's two, so, you know, we're pretty close to that already anyways. Um, and then we can see if it is actually in any order you want, or if you have to do it in a specific order, thus meaning that we don't have to see if the vote is completely useless. Um, so I believe... Professor Flitwick's classroom is here. Charm's classroom, hooray! Okay, and yes, people are here. I went to charm school when I was younger, but it was nothing like this. I thought you were Ron. I was clearly mistaken. Hey, Professor Flitwick, how are you doing? You received card combination. Thank you! Goodbye! That's all you need to know. Um, hello, Professor Flitwick. For today's exercise, we'll charm a feather to make it float. As long as you're standing here, Harry, I'll pick you to demonstrate. You should have chosen me. I can almost make feathers float already. <laughs> Ooh, you're a powerful wizard, all right. Look, you're making me roll my eyes. Ha ha ha! Ron kind of burned her. Now, Harry, duplicate my wand movements exactly. The rest of you watch carefully. Welcome to Charms class. Copy my movements to levitate a series of objects. Let's hope we can do this in five minutes, which we should be able to. And there you go! We are now done with the thing once you've done it three times and can levitate a stool. Hooray for us! You completed the exercise perfectly, Harry. Fifteen house points for excellence! Huzzah! We win at life! So yeah, we're definitely winning. Um, and thank you for our demonstration to the class, Harry. Here is a spell as a reward. You learned a new spell, Wingardium Leviosa. Excellent! Good work, Harry. You've done Gryffindor proud. <laughs> I knew I have. Yes, Harry. Even I couldn't have done as well as that. Or maybe she didn't say that, I wasn't really paying much attention. Students, please practice the one movements Harry and I have shown you, and be prepared to levitate a feather by our next session. Class dismissed. Hooray! We have done that class. So it seems you can do them in any order. Um, Wingardium Leviosa, I shall show off when we get next get into a fight. There's a Witches and Wizards card. Um, so yeah, I'm going to leave it to a vote, guys. I'll show you the options again. So yeah, Transfiguration, Herbology, Defense Against the Dark Arts, Broom, fi broom Fight, or Broom Flight, either way, uh, or History of Magic class. The vote is to you guys. Which do you want to see next? I'll see you in the next part with whatever you guys chose as the majority. Um, and then beyond there, seeing as they probably won't take too long, I'll just do them in an order of some description. 
Uh, so yes, I will see you in the next part, guys. Goodbye.